Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Ecat Tech. I've recently unboxed the Asus ROG Phone 5 and the Nubia Red Magic 6 Pro. And I guess the question on people's mind right now is, which phone is the faster phone or the better gaming phone? So I'm going to be running Antutu's latest benchmark which is Antutu Benchmark version 9 and see whether the Nubia Red Magic 6 Pro can actually beat the Asus ROG Phone 5. So let's get this benchmark started guys. So the Red Magic 6 Pro maxes out at 165Hz or fresh rate while the ROG Phone 5 only maxes out at 144Hz. I'm going to be doing two tests. One will be done with their max refresh rates and another one I'll be putting them both at 144 just to even the playing field. So for this test, I actually elevated the two phones so at least there is room for the heat to dissipate from the back and of course for the Red Magic 6 Pro's fan to not be blocked by the table. So let's start the test in 3, 2, 1. So here are my score guys, the Red Magic 6 Pro actually beat the ROG Phone 5. It had a score of 828,235 while the ROG Phone 5 is not too far behind, it only scored 805,931. So you can see that the CPU and GPU score of the Red Magic 6 Pro is a lot higher and in terms of temperature, internal temperature went up by 7 degrees it hit a maximum of 41.3 and in the case of the ROG Phone 5 the temperature went up by 8 and hit a maximum of 42.1 though the Red Magic 6 Pro lost 7% of battery and the ROG Phone 5 lost 5% so I'll give the phones time to cool down from this test and I'm going to change the refresh rate on the Red Magic 6 Pro down to 144 Hz just to even the playing field so I can see if that's going to have an impact on the results of the test a few moments later Okay, so this is my second test. Let me change it to... Okay, so there is no option to go 144. There is an option to go 120. So let's do the same on the ROG Phone 5. Okay, I've set the refresh to 120 hertz as well. Okay, so now they're both at 120 hertz refresh rate. So let's see if that's going to make a difference on the Antutu benchmark score. So let's start the test in 3, 2, one.
Alright, the second test is done with both phones at 120Hz and the score on the ROG Phone 5 went down a bit more. It scored 799,575 while the Red Magic 6 Pro didn't have much of a difference with the score. It still scored pretty high with 827,855. In terms of temperature, the Red Magic 6 Pro hit 40.9 and the ROG Phone 5 hit 42.9. Now, of course, I know you've noticed that I've got the Air Active Cooler 5 here and the Red Magic Dual Core Cooler. I'm going to be attaching these now and put them both in their max refresh rates and see whether the coolers actually play a big part in uh, maybe increasing the overall N22 score or if it only serves in lowering the temperatures of the phone. So I'll let the phones cool down again and I'll be running the N22 benchmark test but this time I'm going to be attaching the coolers that are designed for each phone. And just so you know guys, the Red Magic Dual Core Cooler is compatible with any phone. So it's not like the Aeroactive Cooler for the ASUS or the ROG phone where it is proprietary. But the only difference is this needs to be powered through a USB-C cable while this one takes its power directly from the phone. So you don't need to carry a separate cable if you want to use the Aeroactive Cooler. Though you can only use it on your ROG phone. Alright, so I've got the active coolers over here. So this is the dual core cooler from Red Magic and the Air Active Cooler 5 from Asus. So let's plug in the one for the ROG 5 first. And if it's connected, you should see the cooler should light up. If you actually go here, having the Air Active Cooler 5 attached lets you turn on X Mode Plus. So let's turn the refresh rate back to 144 Hertz. Let's turn on X mode plus and let's load up and 2 benchmark. So this is the score I got earlier without the air active cooler. So like I said, for the dual core cooler, you need to attach a separate USB-C cable and I've got a power bank right here. So there is no switch on the dual core cooler. It basically turns on once the... There you go. So once you attach the phone, it turns on automatically. So there is no manual on and off switch. So let's place it on the phone. Okay. So I guess that's the reason why they move the volume buttons on the other side. Because if you had all the buttons over here, you'd have to place your cooler at the bottom part of the phone. But here you can place it near the center. Okay. Now let's turn off your refresh rate to 165 Hertz so now 165 Hertz on the Red Magic 6 Pro and 144 Hertz on the ROG Phone 5 they both got the coolers attached so let's see if the temperatures go down and the score will go up so let's start the test again in 3 2 1 So test is done with the cooler. Score actually went down a bit on the Red Magic 6 Pro, scoring 825,498. Though temperature didn't get too hot, it only maxed out at 36.2. Battery loss is still the same at 7%. For the ROG Phone 5, scores went up a bit 
8,172. Temperatures are still pretty hot at 40.7 and the battery loss is a bit more. It probably has to do with the air active cooler drawing power from the phone itself so it actually loses more battery this time around. So that's it for my Antutu benchmark test with and without the coolers for the Red Magic 6 Pro and the ROG Phone 5. Let me know what scores you're getting on your device. But until then, please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all in my next one.